Kaylee here. I'm outside testing out some of my knives and I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, it was beautiful all day today. The sun was out and it's been really warm so I've been outside all day testing out my knives and stuff but it looks like the sun has disappeared. I don't know where it went to storm, but it uh, yeah it looks like there's some storm clouds rolling in so I guess I'll have to make this video kind of short and sweet. But basically what I wanted to do um, was make a, a little testing video for you guys. I just recently did a review on my Mike Snowdy Boss 2.0 give you guys a good look at it and as I was saying in my review this is uh, by far one of my favorite knives I really really love this knife um, I know it's a very simple design but it's extremely effective very very sharp and you can use it for a number of different things and basically that's what I wanted to do is just make a, a quick video for you guys show you guys some of the different things that I've been using this for and also I promised you guys that if I made a spear with this that I would make a video for you guys so in my review I discussed the benefits to having the hole in the blade and one of the benefits to having this hole is that you can make a variety of different weapons with it. So one of the weapons that you can make is a spear. So basically what I'm going to do is, uh, is try to make a spear out of it and uh, show you guys and we'll, we'll test it out here and see how well it holds up. So um, I actually was just, uh, my daughter's out here with me. You want to say hi? Hey <laughs> She's a ninja just like me. <laughs> but anyways, um, She's out here and she wanted me to make her a spear too, so I actually made her a little spear that she could uh, that she could test out and play with. So, as you guys can see, I just I took my knife and I whittled it down into a point here and made her a little spear that she could try out too. So, you want to practice while I'm putting this together? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So, she's going to practice with her spear while I put this one together for you guys. All right, so basically what I would do is um, I'm going to set it up as if I were in a survival situation. So anytime I go out hiking or camping or anytime I'm out in the woods, you know, hunting, any of that stuff, um, I always bring a survival bracelet with me. So I got my survival bracelet here with my Tom Stokes design. It's got the compass and the flashlight. Um, I'm actually going to do a review on that at some point here as well. But 550 paracord is great. I highly recommend everybody wearing one of these um, anytime they go out in the woods because they definitely come in handy. Um, it's extremely strong. It's great stuff and you can use it for a ton of different things. But um, I always take one out when I go hunting with me because if you get a deer you can use this to carry out your deer and it's like I said it's nice and strong. Holds up really well. So basically what I would do is um, say something bad happened, things took a turn for the worse, and you have to um, make a weapon. So I'm going to make a spear, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down my survival bracelet. So I already took the liberty of doing that. I broke down one of my bracelets. And you're going to just put it right through the hole here. And then you're just going to set it right up onto a stick. So you want to find a, a good stick, nice and strong, kind of well balanced. So I found this out in the woods. And I thought this would this would work well, so we'll give it a try and see. So basically, I'm just going to set it up and uh, see how it goes. Mom, so I wrap my yeah. Did you get it? Bullseye. Nice, good job. You're a pro. All right. So I was in my shop the other day. I was using my drill press, and uh, my knife got caught and spun around. And you got cut. And I cut my finger pretty bad and had to go to the emergency room and I had you to get, get eight stitches. Eight stitches. Um, my finger's healed up quite a bit since then, but it didn't feel too good. So, <laughs> so I got a band-aid on it right now to protect it. So I can't really pull this too tight. I don't want to hit my stitches. I sound like a super baby right now. <laughs> I actually didn't even want to go to the emergency room when I cut myself. I was like, just throw some super glue on it, duct tape, and... They were like, you need to go to the hospital. Your finger is really, really bad. That's a bad cut, so you need to go. That's not, that's not going to uh, heal with just a, a Band-Aid and some duct tape. So, super glue and duct tape. <laughs> that's my solution. So but anyways, I got eight stitches, so I'm trying to pull it as tight as I can, but my would finger you, is um, killing me. Would you like me to set up yours that I made for you? What, this? I'm just um, about done. Actually, oh, that? Hey, yeah. Okay. It looks like it's good, though, honey. Well, Did you get any bullseyes? How'd you do? I got a, one good bullseye. Yep. And that was the best I could do. And now I set it up a target for you that you can use. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. That I drew. Alright. So I think I got this set up pretty good. We'll see. See how well it holds up. Alright. My aim is kind of 
kind of bad, so don't laugh at me or make fun of me too bad, but we'll try and see how it goes. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Nice. Oh, good. I bet she'll get a bullseye. Stayed on there pretty well. Yeah. Alright, what do you think? Not bad? Not too bad? Not too bad. Alright. Ready? Good luck again. Nope. Oh. Just underneath. You should try it again. I bet you can get it. <laughs> Remember, step when you go. Oh, thank you. There yeah. we go. Not bad. One more time? Sure. I bet you could probably get it this time. Where's your spear? Mine's right here. You want to give it a try? Thanks. <laughs> Whoop! That's all right. So I hope you'll have better luck. All right. Let's try again. I bet you can do it. You're very encouraging. Thank you. Yay! We got it. You almost was there. You just had to take it. Almost had a bullseye. This is fun though, huh? You yeah. wanna try with this one? Uh, sure, I guess. You can do it. Just like that. Here, you take a step closer. Just remember, like this, hold it up a little bit closer there. One hand. And then take a step and throw. There you go, that was good. Really good job. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. On it. Yeah, it's okay. I might get a little bit. What knives are meant for? You gotta get them dirty. You gotta use them. Okay. Okay. Last time. Oh yeah! You, High five! You were so, so close. close. <laughs> Let's go check it out. I have to get right to there, and you would have got it. Not bad, huh? That was pretty you cool. Want to see mine? <laughs> nice. Awesome. So that was fun. Let's get it out. Mine. Want to see mine? <laughs> That's my bullseye. Nice. Good job, honey. <laughs> hey, guys. All right. Sorry about the uh, poor camera angles and stuff. I'm my own cameraman, so I got to prop it up and, and do what I, I can. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you guys have a Boss 2.0, make a spear. Try it out. Make a video and, uh, and show me how and well it holds up and everything. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye guys. So thank you to my little helper. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.